Hey everybody and welcome to Lady T's Things That Bling DIY videos. I know it's been a while but we are back with another video and on this one I'm going to be going over how to make a tote bag out of placemats and of course I got my inspiration from the posh paper lady. So I hope you like this video and let's get started so these are some of the supplies you need you need double-sided tape you need a ruler a tape measure something to cut with either a, a, a blade or scissors and you need two placemats now right here what I am doing is I'm measuring two and a half inches this is per um, the posh paper lady and she did her placemats all at two and a half inches. That's where she made her score lines, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring, I'm using my ruler as well as my uh, tape measure to make sure that my score line is even all the way down. You want to make sure that your score line is even all the way down. And there I am doing the other side, which is the short side of the placemat because the placemat is 12 by 18 so that's the 12 inch side right now that I'm scoring and I did get these placemats from the Dollar Tree now you can see those two score lines but when you flip it over again to do the 18 inside make sure your words are not upside down because if you do when it comes time for you to make the bag the front of your bag is going to be upside down or the back of your bag is going to be upside down so just make sure that your um, letters your words are not upside down so again I'm scoring I'm measuring and because that side is longer I had to do it in two pieces <laughs> so to speak but you want to make sure your measurements are correct and the posh paper lady if you can go look at her she makes it very easy and this is the second one and I'm basically doing the same thing with the measurements I just didn't want to take you through boring scoring <laughs> that rhyme okay so what I'm doing is making my score make sure my score lines are good and now on one of the placemats what you're going to do is you're going to cut one of the corners but you're not going to cut it off. You're just going to make a little indentation. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now you can see it clearer right there that I'm just cutting. I'm not cutting the square off. I'm cutting... Um, just a little piece off I don't even know the right word to say but now this one on the second mat I'm cutting the squares off the corner so you have a placemat that has the squares com cut completely off you have one that we left it on but we just did a little bit of cutting to it to make sure that it can fit properly when you put the other part together here I am fighting with the tape as you can see because you want to make sure the tape is on right because if you don't you're gonna have sticky spots and you don't want that so there I'm taking a double sided tape out so I can use that later on I'm not sure if this is clear enough so I'm probably going to do another video because I want you to really be able to see what I'm doing And I'm just putting tape where the other mat is going to meet this one. You have to be very precise and very careful when you're doing this. On here, my lighting wasn't that great. So I may just do another video so you can really see what I'm doing. And that's the tape that I got from the Dollar Tree from Crafter Squares, double-sided tape. It's just really thin. If I could give you any advice, when you're buying your tape for this 
project please buy multiple rolls because there is a lot of taping involved and these rolls aren't very long they're not that big um, so you want to buy multiple rolls of tape before doing this project actually you can start the project if you only have one roll of tape but I would suggest that you get multiples now you see where I'm trying to make these two meet and then I have to turn it over and put tape over there I think I'm just going to do another video because this was not as clear as I want it to be but you guys can go on over to the posh paper lady and check her out and see what she's doing in the meantime so you see the three places that it, the tape was and you really have to be precise with this guys really think I'm gonna do another video because this is not as clear but as you can see if you can slow it down and you can see where the tape is you'll see exactly what I was doing with the tape and now comes the part of taking the tape off those are the two 12 inch sides that we're taking the tape off of Well, actually, those are the 18 inch sides we're taking the tape off of. And we're connecting them together. You've got to be precise with this, guys, because that tape is very sticky. And if you're not precise, you're going to have yourself in a jam. And you're going to have to re-tape it and da 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 You don't want to do all that. So let's be very precise when we're doing that. So now I'm picking up a piece of chipboard because we want to place chipboard in the bottom of the bag to give us some stability in case you use these tote bags to carry something that has a little weight to it you don't want the back coming out um, the bottom coming apart so that's just a piece of chipboard that I'm using and I'm going to color it I'm going to cover it later on with a piece of yellow tape uh, how fitting actually with a piece of yellow vinyl now you see those two are going to meet and I'm trying to make sure I'm doing it right okay and this is the part that I do not like is taking the tape off I can't stand it but it must be done <laughs> so again make sure that your stuff is lining up precisely because baby if that thing gets stuck you are in trouble okay you see me watching I'm trying to make sure I get it stuck right the posh paper lady makes it looks like it's so easy to do but what you really want to do is take your time make sure everything is lined up and you'll get through it I can't stand this tape it's not the tape I just don't like taking it apart it was crazy again you have to be precise with this I messed up a couple of times and I had to go back and fix it but you really have to be precise with this tape yay and I'm just doing the other side together and if you would look and see how the letters are upright, the letters are facing the right way, that's why I said in the beginning you have to be very careful of making sure when you're starting to score that, that uh, the letters are not upside down because you're going to be upset if your purse, if your tote bag comes out with the letters upside down. Okay? When life gives you lemon, make lemonade. So, I decided I want to continue be crafty and make a yellow bottle. <laughs> Y'all don't have to do this. You can use scraps from the 
placemats and you can um, use that to cover your chipboard. Now that was a 12 by 12 piece of chipboard. Could have been a little bit longer because it didn't go all the way across. But it's going to do what I needed to do. And guys, mind you, this was 1 o'clock in the morning that I'm doing this. 1 o'clock in the morning. I was tired, but I couldn't sleep. So not being fancy with the chipboard, just putting it in the bottom to make sure you have some stability. And now I'm taking the extra. Remember I said if you're going to make one, it takes two to make one, but I would get another one. I would get three just so you can cut out the straps to the bag. Unless you cut it out from your placemats and change your, you know, adjust your, your um, measurements. But I wasn't doing all that. So, I just spent an extra dollar to get an extra mat so I can make these um, straps. The straps are one inch wide by 18 inches long because I'm doing it on the long side of the mat. The 18 inch. So, they're... 1 by 18. Right there I had a little overhang, but this is the one I did at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do another one. I'm just placing tape on the straps and I would like to give you some advice that if you're going to um, really use this tote bag I would suggest that you do like the posh paper lady did and put some type of um, snaps on there because uh, one of the bags that I did and I went back is it was um, the handles had come off with the tape so I would definitely strongly suggest that you put snaps on your handles so right there I'm just using a tool that I use for um, beading but it went through the placemat just fine I'm using some of those snaps that I got that was suggested by the posh paper lady. And it really looks cute though. I'm glad she suggested that. Because you don't want to be taking, or you don't want anybody to take a bag and the straps come off. That would be completely embarrassing. You'd be like, uh-uh, I can't let my work go out like that. So for this one, I just put one snap per bag, I mean per handle. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I shared something with you that you will definitely try. Again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Alright, see you next time.